Rest times have always been an important variable that I've used in my training, whether I was doing a high intensity resistance circuit or focusing more on muscle growth. When it comes to how long we should rest between sets for muscle growth, the standard has always been that you should rest one to two minutes between sets for muscle growth and three to five minutes for strength. And this is supported by the American College of Sports Medicine. Today we're gonna to take a closer look at how long the rest times for muscle growth should be and whether or not this one to two minute range is really the best. Most of the time, I keep my rest times within this one to two minute range, occasionally going with a five minute rest between sets when I would do a block of heavier training. And of course, with high intensity resistance training, the rest times would be under a minute. One of the ways I would like to do this is I would set a timer so that it would go off every two or two and a half minutes, and every time it goes off, I would do a set, which would keep my rest times within this one to two minute range and keep me focused on the workout. Recently, I've started to move away from this, and the reason is in this video. There are a large number of things that affect our rest times. One of them is our goals, but today we'll be focusing on just muscle growth. The next reasons all relate to the amount of weight we're using. As the heavier weight we use, the more rest we'll need between sets. So if you're going with higher reps, you will be using less weight than if you were working in a lower rep range. I would encourage anyone who's interested in building muscle to periodize their rep ranges and the amount of weight they use. The type of exercise matters too. Compound movements are more metabolically demanding than isolation movements and as a result require more time to recover. The amount of time that we have available to work out on any given training day is also an important consideration. This brings me to a study that a lot of people point to as proof that we should rest at least three minutes between sets for superior muscle growth. Now I actually read this study and there will be a link at the bottom of the description so if you want, you can read it too. What they did is they took a group of lifters with at least six months lifting experience and split them into two groups. They both performed the same exercises, seven in total for three sets, all compound movements. And they were done with every set being brought to failure in that eight to 12 rep range, three times a week for eight weeks. What they did different with the two groups is one group only rested for a minute between sets and the other group rested for three minutes. With the researchers expecting to find the group with the one minute rest, building the most muscle size and the three minute group the most strength. Now this was not the case at all. What they found was the group that had the longer rest times gained the most strength and built the most muscle. As a matter of fact, muscle size gains were close to double. So you can see how people would conclude the three minute rest times were better. But this is where we need to take a deeper look into the study. The biggest difference in the two groups was the amount of time that they spent training. The short rest group spent about 34 minutes per workout, whereas the three minute group spent around 76 minutes in the gym. So they got almost twice the gains, but spent over twice the time in the gym. Time is a real world consideration when we're deciding what we want to do with our own workouts. So if the three minute group had cut back the amount of time that they spent in the gym to match the one minute group, would the results have evened out? Well, that study hasn't been done, so there's no way to know for sure, but I suspect this would be the case. Now, that doesn't mean that there's no advantage to this information. It can help us with programming, knowing that longer rest times can be a benefit, especially for compound movements. The first thing I would look at is how much rest time we're taking on our less demanding isolation exercises. If you're resting over a minute on exercises like arm curls or tricep extensions, then you could take that extra time and add it to the rest in between the sets of your more demanding compound lifts, like squats and bench press. In this study, they took every set to failure. Now, if you're not going to failure on every set, then you're not gonna need as much rest time. Understanding this can help us to balance out our rest times based on metabolic demand and how much time we have to train. Controlling our rest times helps us to better track our progress. If you'd like to inquire about my personal training services to help you reach your goals, whether it be to build muscle or lose body fat, then my email is in the description. That way, we can all keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.